Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I'm going over some clips for the up and coming NBA 2K14 official trailer. Now, this is current gen. Yes, it's NBA 2K14. No, it's not next gen. And no, I do not know when they're going to be releasing anything for next gen. But what I can tell you is my thoughts about these two clips. Now, first I want to go over the James Harden clip. Now he shot a contested three right in Klay Thompson's face, made the three pointer, did his little signature movement. Klay Thompson went up to get the inbound pass. Now I find a few things wrong with that. Contested threes, I don't remember too many of us hitting them. So, you know, I want to know if James Harden is going to be overpowered from three and if he's going to be usable in modes like my team and stuff. Also, his signature skill, I want to know, are my players going to be able to do that signature, well, not signature skill, but signature animation after making the shot? I want to know if my career guys are going to be able to do that as well. Now, for the inbound pass, I do not like when the shooting guard or a small forward that is a point forward brings up the ball. I hate that. The only time that should happen is a situation when there's a full court press. Other than that, Send the shooting guard down the um, court. Send, send the small forward down the court and let the point guard inbound the ball. That's just how it's done in the NBA. It's not too many times where both guys are standing there waiting for an inbound pass. That's just not realistic to me. But, you know, maybe other guys don't have that problem. Another thing, hairstyles. Um, is LeBron, I mean, not LeBron, but is James Harden's mohawk and beard going to be in NBA 2K14? That is a big question that everybody has been having as well. And another question is about the 2K generics. Oh, man, but we can get into that in the next clip. Now, the clip with Kobe Bryant, I want to break this down a whole lot. Now, he does a step back, right? The defender gets caught in quicksand, jumps too late, and by then, Kobe Bryant's shot is off. He was able to step back, do a little gather where he had to, you know, bring the ball in and fade away before the defender even jumped. That's that's kind of a big problem with me. I really do not like the way that the quicksand animation gets people every single time you should be able to press l2 and engage that player so when he steps back you close out that's what i really wanted in nba 2k14 so you know this is a message to the devs you definitely want to check that out please check that out you know i, I do not want that in nba 2k14 for next gen at all now, uh, the next thing, with Kobe Bryant doing a nice little step back in the gather, that's fluid, that's perfect. I have no problem with that. Uh, another thing is the shoes. A lot of people have been trying to look for those 2K generics. But what I will say about the 2K generics is you have to have them in the 2K game because you don't get a contract. You know what I'm saying? 2K has to, you know, make money off of, you know, adding their little things to the game and things of that nature. But this is IKC signing out. Give me guy, give me your thoughts in the comment section about these clips. Also about those new Suns jerseys in NBA 2K14. But this is IKC signing out. I'm gonna holla at y'all later. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.